Margaret Lucas Cavendish was born in 1623 in Colchester, Essex. She was from a family of aristocrats. Her parents were Thomas and Elizabeth Lucas. She received a homeschool education where she learned about mathematics, history, philosophy, and the classical languages. Also, she had access to scholar libraries and she was an avid reader. When Margaret grew up, she was the maid of honor at the court of Queen Henrietta Maria. When the queen was exiled to France, Margaret accompanied her. This is where she met her future husband, William Cavendish. They got married in 1645. William had a lot of influence in Margaret's studies of science and the Cavendish circle. Margaret was the Duchess of Newcastle. She also was a philosopher, poet, playwright, and essayist. She died in 1673 at the age of 50. Cavendish said that minds are material and matter can think. The mind can't be immaterial because it has a location, so then it must have a certain size and a certain distance, and only material things can have a location and size. She said that the mind can cause things to happen. It can move the material body. When your mind thinks a lot in something, this can cause your body to move and act. Also, she said that your minds go with you. For example, if you're in London, you can't think about China. This is because your mind is connected with you. She thought that her theory might not be correct, but she was sure it will help in the future science. Then, Margaret was one of the most published women in the 17th century. In 1667, she became the first woman to go to a meeting in the Royal Society. This was a very important event. She included women in science and it stood out that women can be as smart as men. Until now, it continues the analysis of whether or not the bodies that surround us are intelligent or have an intelligent cast. Also, she anticipated an emphasis in the study of the brain and body in addressing mental health. She talks about how motion is transferred between bodies. Margaret Cavendish represents the ideals of the 17th century because natural philosophy means nature, poetry, and how humanity works. Also, Margaret made scientific discoveries and essays. She represents all of these ideals in her works and creations. My research question is, what was Margaret Cavendish's impact on the 17th century and which effects remain in the present? I choose this question because it's good to help explaining about her contribution to the history and learn about her discoverments, perspective and impact in society.